Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. Now this is an M12, the Tier 7 American SPG, and it's located on the north spawn of Erlenberg Assault, the defending spawn, and it's being commanded by UK Scarface. Now, what can I tell you about the M12 you haven't heard before? Well, you probably know that they built 100 of them, 60 in 1942, and a further 40 were built in 1943. But after they were built and used for training, they put them into storage. And that was because they didn't actually want to use them until they managed to get into Europe. Um, and 74 were upgraded and sent to the European combat area. And those were the ones which actually saw service in North Northwest Europe during the war. Uh, and they were mainly used for indirect fire, for knocking down uh, bunkers because uh, they had a tremendous ability to destroy a bunker or pillbox and they used to call it the door knocker because it would knock on the door of the bunker and blow them up. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, the actual vehicle was the design which actually uh, formed the basis for all subsequent SPGs of having a vehicle with the engine at the front and the gun at the rear and that model was used for the next sort of like 30 years. Oh, that other Lorraine got in the way. Okay. And unfortunately, they could only carry 10 rounds of ammunition in the M12. So they had to have an identical vehicle, an identical chassis called the M30. And that M30 would carry all the additional ammunition and also some of the crew. So that uh, uh, the, they didn't have to cling on to the M12 as it was moving about. Okay, Lorraine 40T, but unfortunately this is uh, Wargaming's Battle Assistant and it's not very user friendly and I do wish they would change it and uh, get the proper one, the better one. Round out on the Skoda, direct hit, 234 hit points, three critical hits. There's only one M12 left in the world and it's located at Fort Sill in the United States at the Artillery Museum and you can go up to it and have a look at it and possibly even touch it if they let you uh, <laughs> okay AMX4 M449 Liberté dialing in on where it was last seen but he can't see it so he's holding on to his round no he's decided to fire but it fell short anyway um, didn't go anywhere near the aim point Oh, that got a direct hit, and that was a direct hit from the enemy RT, which is a Lorraine 15550. So, yes, he was seen from his tracer, and he's backing into the trees now to avoid being hit. Unfortunately, that was a 127 hit point hit, and a lesson in you must relocate. You can't stay out in the open on this particular battlefield. You need to be in cover, ideally. If the enemy do see you, they will fire at you. T-30, round out, and he's relocating. And he gets a hit. 164, which was a splash hit. And he's relocated. He's learned his lesson. He's not going to occupy the same position every firing now. Not unless the enemy RT has been killed. Now he's going to go for the Type 4 Heavy first. It's a, type it's a Tier 9 Heavy. Almost loaded. That IS-3 is, tr is, is um, tracked. Big hit. 41 hit points right on the front though. So that's why it only did 41 hit points of damage. Because it hit the heaviest armour right on the front. You can see the yellow mark where it hit. It's near one of the viewports. There it is. You see that? Yep. And there's another round from the Lorraine I think went in there. But he's almost ready to fire again. And it looks like he's going to go for the Type 4 Heavy again, which of course is the most difficult opponent for his team to defeat. Round out, and another hit! Almost in the same place, 113 hit points. And he's relocating. He's not going to let that Lorraine put another shot into him. Now that ridge line is getting a bit of a nuisance now, because uh, he's that Type 4 is getting very close. But the Type 4 is having to move towards the cap, which is presenting his side to um, UK Scarface. And that's going to make him easier to damage. 
Dialed in on the T25-2 and it lands to one side. That's why we saw an explosion. But he's that Type 4 heavy now. He could do a lot of damage to it because it's side on. He's going to have to wait for the reload to go through. These are the toughest moments when you know that your teammates are in peril and you want to well, hit the enemy. But he, he just got a bit of reticule bloom there. I think he actually set, settled, um, centered his arc, his arc of fire. Now, right into the side of that Type 4. Oh, it landed short. RNG, I'm afraid. It tracked the Type 4, but that was RNG for you. And um, I think we just took out a Lorraine 40T that got too close. Or they got um, took out his teammates. And that was around coming in there from the um, from the Lorraine. You can see the marks on the side where he's been hit. Oh, that's another hit on the side. That Type 4 is really, really starting to lose health now. But unfortunately, it's an enemy approaching. Um, and his teammates are shooting from the other side of the... Uh, near the town, near the river, riverside. And they're taking out that IS-3 who obviously knows the Nazis here. But he's actually engaging those other tanks because every time he goes over a ridge line, he's making himself fairly obvious. Round out. Oh, it stuns him, but it doesn't kill him. And he relocates again. He might have to, uh, yeah, hold on to his shells just in case one of those enemies gets too close. Or is he going to try for these ones down south? Well, he's getting a request for fire on that Liberté. And there's a T-29. He can hit that. And it's been killed. Thankfully, the uh, Type 4 was actually taken out uh, whilst we weren't looking at it, whilst he was looking elsewhere. So at least that one's gone. He's only got four teammates alive, including him. The Lorraine was taken out. The Lorraine 15550. He's gone. They're, they're, they're basically, they are down by three tanks at the moment. There's the IS-3. And that's the reason why he hasn't come over here to kill uh, UK Scarface. Because every time he pops over the ridgeline, UK Scarface's teammates in the town start putting rounds into him. And he's got very little health left. But UK Scarface can't get a shot on him because he's just over the ridgeline. Oh, he's been hit by the Lorraine again! He's going to have to move. He can't stay here because uh, they will fire again at him. But he's been tracked. He's untracked now. Okay, he's, he's tracked up again. Looks to me like he's going to try and go into the corner of the map. No, he's going to use that tank destroyer, that wreck, as cover. And that would be a good move. Okay. Revelerise, or ravioli as Jingles calls him quite correctly. It is a ravioli. They did call them raviolis. But he's moving fast. Don't need to hit it. The IS-3 is still there. Now we've still got a, rav a ravioli of our own. But there's the IS-3. Now he might be the one who was spotting for the Lorraine. No, we can't get a solution on him. You can see there's a red line extending from the ridge line, which means that he's in cover. He could move up to the ridge line and try to shotgun him, but I don't think he's lived very long. Okay, the ravioli has been killed. But that was the two minute hooter we heard a short while ago, which means that there's only uh, two minutes to go. In fact, it's now, it's one minute, 10 seconds. If he can last another minute and 10 seconds, he gets a collar ban off. The IS-3 must realise that all he's got to do is drive up into this corner. I think we can expect him to appear any second now. If he does, and UK Scarface can shotgun him, he's going to have to move out of the corner as quickly as possible because that Lorraine 15550 will try to go for him. That's, a, that's another near miss. The enemy are capping! I can't believe it! There's the ice street! Okay. 
And he fires it. And he gets him shotgun. Now he needs to move. He needs to move. Get out of there quick. Because the enemy RT will fire into this corner. He, the enemy RT thinks he's over here. Oh, don't stay here. Don't stay here. He's, he's trying to use the wreck for cover. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. The enemy RT will fire into the corner. And they did. And they're gonna, they might try to splash him to death. Okay, the enemy can't reload. He's done it. Time's up. He's done it. He's won his collar ban off. Oh, let's have a look at the end of battle stats for this one. It's a third class tanker for UK Scarface in the M12. He also picked up a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, critical capacitations or module damage. He got seven. But he did win a Kolobanov, and it's not just any Kolobanov, this is his first Kolobanov, and the first one is always a thrill. I remember when I got my first one, um, which was actually in a light tank, would you believe it, uh, a tier 2 light tank at that, uh, but it's especially nice to get your first Kolobanov, so well done UK Scarface, you stood alone against five of the enemy, and you survived, and you did it extremely well. Um, I was a bit worried about your choice to stay in that corner. I think I would have been off to the races the moment <laughs> that that IS-3 was gone to make sure that the enemy were firing at the wrong place. But uh, you still did it. It doesn't matter. You won. You did it. You, you pulled it through for your team and you helped them all to win. So well done indeed. Let's have a look at the team scores. Well, you didn't get the highest amount of damage. In fact, actually, the bottom end of the table was 772 hit points of damage. Um, you only managed to get uh, one kill, which puts you third. Um, and when it came to base XP, you were third again with 752. But it doesn't matter because you won the battle for them. Let's have a look at the detail report. You fired 12 rounds. You got five direct hits, four splashes. Uh, you did damage of 772 hit points, of which 731 were at more than 300 meters. The close one was actually the IS-3, who you shotgunned the moment he popped up over that line. Um, you received three hits as a result of splash damage, all from that Lorraine 15550, who must have been most annoyed that he failed to kill you at the early, at the beginning of the battle. Um, and as a result, uh, he ended up losing the battle. Um, you hit four of the enemy and you killed one of them. And you did stun assistance damage of 1,009 hit points off eight stuns. On a premium account, you earned 29,217 credits. And after repair, ammunition, resupply and consumables, you still took away 9,646 credits. You received 1,128 XP, but it was times three for the first victory of the day. And you had a personal reserves bonus going at the same time. So you took away a whopping 4,512 experience points in total. But that doesn't matter because you've got a collar ban off. That is the main thing, an arty collar ban off at that, which are more rare than standard collar ban offs. It's easy enough to win a collar ban off in a light tank, in a medium tank, in a heavy tank or a TD. But winning it in an arty is that much more difficult. So well done indeed UK Scarface uh, for a great battle. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your re replay that we'll be featuring in our next video.